My name is Pedro Fernandez. I'm a percussionist in the Annapolis Symphony. Antonio Vivaldi was ordained a priest at 25. He was given the nickname the Red Priest because of the color of his hair, the Ginger Priest. <laughs> However, due to poor health, he only performed mass a handful of times and didn't do much other priest stuff, really. I don't think I realized he was actually ordained a priest ever, but uh, yeah. Vivaldi did remain as a diligent master of the violin at an orphanage called the Devout Hospital of Mercy. His relationship with the board of directors was rocky, to say the least. The board voted every year on whether or not to keep Vivaldi. Most years, the vote was seven to six. When Vivaldi took a year off from the orphanage to work as a freelance musician, the board ended up calling him back uh, because they realized how viable he was. The board came around. Good. Unfortunately, Vivaldi's success didn't last for long. While Vivaldi had a well-known reputation throughout his life, after his death, he fell, he fell into obscurity. I mean, I think most people fall into obscurity when they die. <laughs> Even Vivaldi's most famous composition, The Four Seasons, was unknown in its time. I think The Four Seasons Hotel named it after Vivaldi's composition, but I'm making this up right now. <laughs> Thanks to the work of scholars and artists such as uh, Ezra Pound, who popularized his work in the 20th century, Vivaldi is known and enjoyed today. There's no percussion in Vivaldi at all, so I don't really get a chance to work on that unless it's some sort of arrangement. <laughs>